Hey guys, uh, this is a sixth grade task standard. Um, how do we find the area of composite figures? So this is a little bit different than what we did uh, the last time on regular polygons. These are irregular shapes. So just different shapes combined to create a conglomeration of, a, of, of another shape, if you will. <clears throat> if you look at this one, this one's actually a trapezoid on top of a parallelogram. So you need to, need to know two formulas. What's the area of a parallelogram? How do you find the area of a parallelogram? And how do you find the area of a trapezoid? If you recall, the area of a trapezoid is, let's write that down, area of trapezoid equals to one half height times base one plus base 2. Now I, I teach it di slightly differently. Uh, the way I do it, my formula for a trapezoid would be base 1 plus base 2. Divide that by 2 because you're trying to find the average base because you've got two of them. You've got one here and one here. So you've got two competing bases. So you add those together, divide by 2, and then you times it by the height. Reason being is because I like to keep it base times height. I like to leave it in that format because the area of a parallelogram is base times height. That's all it is. Area equals base times height. So in this in this situation, this this one's pretty easy. The only one, the only thing that makes it a little bit difficult is it has a uh, as a decimal. <laughs> but you can figure that out here. So eight point two times eleven. You got one decimal here, one decimal here, so that's 90.2 millimeters squared. That's just for the parallelogram. Now, now let's figure out the trapezoids. So let's go back to the trapezoids. So we've got 8 and 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add those together first. So area equals 8 plus 11. I will divide that by 2. Then I'm going to times it by the height, and the height is 4. So area equals 19 divided by 2 times 4. 19 divided by 2 equals 9.5. And then times that by 4. One decimal here, one decimal here. So this is 38 millimeters squared. Now if you've got the trapezoid, and you got the parallelogram. So how do we find the total area? you simply just add them together. So you add them both. You add this one with the top piece and you got your total. And your total should be 128.2 millimeters squared. That's going to be the total area. Okay, it seems like a lot. Um, I'm writing it all out. Um, but let me see if I can show you well, I can't really show you too much because I try to keep keep away from being copyright infringements and, and stuff. So I can't really show you too much. But I did this problem on another sheet of paper, and I did like this much work, you know, very little work. But I knew all the formulas, so I just simply just wrote it out. But if you don't know the formulas, write them down. Plug in what you know. Plug in your base one, base two. Okay, if you don't know how to find the area of trapezoid, look at another video. I've got them there. I got area of trapezoid in another in another video. Also parallelogram is just base, base times height. Okay. I know this seems a little bit these two sides should be parallel and it's slightly off, but anyways, I drew it as the best I can with what I got. Um, Alright, so that's that for that one. <clears throat> Let's take a look at another example that you might also see in your book somewhere. Um, for this one you basically got two triangles and a rectangle, right? Two triangles and a rectangle. The rectangle's relatively easy. Area of a rectangle is length times width. The length is 12. The width is 7. So your area is going to be 84. Okay, 84 meters squared. That part's easy. 
Okay, that's just for the rectangle. Now for the triangle, it would be tempting, if you remember the area of triangle is area equals one half times the base times height, or, or you can do base times height divided by two. So it's tempting to take the six, it looks like that's the base and it looks like the height and say 30 and 30 divided by two is 15, so that's gonna be 15, 15, right? Well, looks can be deceiving. Remember, this is six. So it's going from here to here is six. So what about from here to here? So you want to look at the whole base. So the whole base is from here to here. And that whole base is not six. It actually ends up being, if you take a look, remember this is, this is 12 right here, right? Half of 12 is six. So if this is six, and this is six, that means that total bottom piece here is going to be 12. So it's actually going to be 12 times the height, which is 5. So it's 12 times 5 divided by 2, which is 30. So if this is 30 meters squared, and this is 30 meters squared because it's the same, same triangle, just flipped over, just reflected over. What do you do with those three areas? How do you find the total area? You add them all up. So 30 plus 30 plus 84 should get you 144 meters squared. And that's it. Um, so again, know your formulas. Make sure you know what, how to find the area of a triangle. Base times height divided by 2. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Length times width or base times height, same thing. How do you find the area of a parallelogram? Base times height. How do you find the area of a, uh, of a trapezoid? Base 1 plus base 2. Divide by 2. You're trying to find the average base, right? The average of two numbers. Times it by the height, and you're done. Add them all up. Add all, add all the individual areas up together so you can get the area of each figure. Um, I make it seem easy. Uh, maybe in my mind it's easy because I've done this a lot but you have to practice this you've got uh, some homework I've given you um, and uh, it's nothing but triangles rectangles uh, and that's pretty much it I don't even think you have a trapezoid I'd have to take a look you might have one trapezoid in there but that's basically it good luck guys talk to you later bye bye